hey there i hope you are doing well so in this podcast i am not going to tell about like for 30 days you need do need to meditate you do need to journal and you do need to write a uh, different kind of essays or whatever you want to like so but in this podcast i'm going to share some super simple techniques uh, five challenges i would rather say so that you can implement it for the next 30 days so yeah so let's start with the first one uh before i tell you this um you know uh, let me tell you a story what really happens is that um imagine that you open your fridge every day and you see something new appearing right uh, maybe you get a chocolate sometime maybe you get a ice cream then you get some coke then you get some red bull and different kind of stuff every time you open the fridge you see new stuff right i'm sure you will like this uh, dopamine rush going on to your head when you are you are seeing this things on your fridge and you will tend to open it every time right you know uh, you may open the fridge like once or twice a day you will go for 20 30 40 times this time because you are seeing new stuff every time you open it right uh that's the same thing you know happened with me as well so not in the fridge but you know in our life uh, we use facebook instagram twitter that's we this, that these are the part of our life right now so we use these applications right and there is a nice thing called pull to refresh so when you uh, it is some some people people call it swipe to refresh as well when you pull from the top it every time you pull to refresh you get a new thing in your feed right um uh, and this gives this dopamine rush that you know this app is really nice every time we will pull to refresh we will see something new so we stick to the app right and that habit was so ingrained in me that i was doing this thing on my google keep as well so if you don't know about google keep google keep is a software you can where you can you know like take simple notes uh, if you want uh, i know that if i refresh my google keep i won't see anything anything new because i have not added any new notes but that habit was so ingrained in my memory that i was doing this on my google keep as well right um if you don't know uh, pull to refresh was actually invented by this guy called uh, lauren bricher uh, it was this app called twitty uh, and it's not a new concept it was in- invented in the 2008 but i'm sure that all the applications right now in this world actually use this pull to refresh so for next 30 days i want you to not refresh the application whatever application you are using maybe you can refresh it for the first time when you enter the app because uh, there may be some old data and you want to see something new because you have just entered the app rather than this do not impulsively pull to refresh maybe you will instinctively do it once or twice but catch yourself doing it right and stop there so i want you to do this for next 30 days do not pull to refresh right let's come to the second challenge that you can implement that is called keep your phone on dnd i'm not telling you to you know turn off notifications that's going that's very super easy right keep your phone on dnd right uh, so in android and ios what you can do is basically you can uh, favorite your contacts so all the favorite contacts can contact you uh, even you are on the dnd mode so don't worry about that like missing phone calls from you know people uh, where may where they may need you right so in our life we don't actually need you know 30 40 people to call us right we may need only four or five people six people to communicate with every day so favorite all those contacts do not you know add everyone to your favorites right so pick those four or five contacts if you are a student there may be a list will be a little bit longer maybe maybe seven eight people right but if you are uh, someone who is doing job or something i'm sure that you don't communicate with a lot of people in your day to day lives right uh, there may be four five six people so the favorite them and keep your phone on always dnd for next 30 days and i will i'm telling you guys you will see this insane amount of you know calm in your uh, in your mind right for initial 4 5 days you may feel this restraint to like you know go out of the dnd because you miss notifications of your whatsapp and what not but trust me guys because it's a challenge right and in challenge you need to challenge yourself right that's why it's called challenge what i'm saying right <laughs> so yeah let's move on to the third uh, challenge which is called writing two things every day writing two things basically i'm talking about two task right so 
एवरी टाइम यू यू नो एवरी डे यू वेक अप और मे बी बिफोर यू स्लीप सो इट इट्स अप इट्स टोटली अप टू यू वेन यू वॉन्ट टू डू इट बट मेक श्योर यू डू इट एवरी डे एट द सेम टाइम सो आइर यू डू इट बिफोर गोइंग टू स्लीप और मे बी यू नो स्टार्टिंग योर डे राइट वेल स्टार्टिंग योर डे सो यू जस्ट पुल आउट योर नोट बुक एंड write two things that you want to do or accomplish on that day i i recommend you to write one personal thing and one work related things because that's why i tell you one uh, thing basically it's a sorry that's why i told told you about two things uh, so what you need to do is that you just write it down i'm not telling you to you know i'm i'm not forcing you to you need to implement those two things but i'm just telling you to write those priorities because you think that doing those two things will actually sort your day out rather than doing nothing or maybe if you, even if you do all the things and you don't do these two things then your uh, you know uh, days will be a little bit void so i want to write i want you to write this two things every day for 30 days you you just need to write two things right these two priorities and and trust me guys this is going to change your life in a different way uh, you might be saying that you are telling me that you don't need to implement this right you don't need to you just need to write it uh, it's up to you whether you want to do this task or not right but you are saying that it's your priority so chances are you will do it but even if you don't do it after 30 days look at the list look at all the things that you have written down and and just you will see that up up you know something will emerge out of it you will see that some tasks are actually repetitive there so you will see that what you actually prioritize in your day to day lives so it's 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 going to be very easy you will see a sort of like a mirror that hey i want to do this every day but i don't i just don't generally don't do it right but i'm writing it every day for 30 days so you will see a really nice thing a pattern emerges out of this right so let's come to the fourth thing and uh, i'm sure that not of not all the people are going to like this so to still because the podcast i'm going to say it's it's all about like do not seek for acknowledgement yeah do not seek for acknowledgement if there is uh, listen to me guys uh, because uh, some people you may be uh, maybe a student or maybe uh, you are you are uh, you know working on a company in some time you need those acknowledgement to understand whether your work was right or not so it's very easier to do it so let me tell you this how to do how to implement this challenge so if there is nothing to lo- lose right so do not seek for any acknowledgement maybe you have done a work for a client in that case you need to ask for the acknowledgement right is whether this work was right or not, or not right uh, there is uh, other than that uh, i don't think you need anything else right uh, or you may be losing the client even if you if you don't ask for the acknowledgement right but wherever you there is no loss do not ask for any acknowledgement uh, so maybe i'm you know uh, in the in, a, in my case suppose i am making a youtube video or maybe making a podcast so in my case that will be like i do not seek for any acknowledgement i do not read comments i do not you know see people how many people are liking this post or anything like that i am not seeing any metrics or something like that what are the engagements and analytics and something like that because i am not losing anything i am doing it for, for the side hustle right now so yeah that's all about like no acknowledgement acknowledgement seeking i and i'm challenging you to do it for 30 days right and the next uh, uh, one is go to the shopping with a list so i know that in today's lives we go to the shopping mall and we can purchase randomly right uh, because hey we like no who who don't like to shopping right so but here's the hear me out uh in today we spend a lot of money in online shopping as well so sometime maybe you just open mintra and uh, buy a pair of jeans right or maybe you just open flipkart or amazon or purchase uh, you know a tws bluetooth uh, you know earphones i don't know uh, what they are called right and very different kind of utilities that you purchase right so i what i want you to do is that every time you get this uh, get this urge to purchase something make a list Because is that hey I want to buy this right even if it's a pair of jeans just write it down that hey I want to buy this uh, buy one pair of jeans and one uh, TWS earphones right so you just write it down and then go to the shopping and I I'm not telling you to you, st- you need to stick to the list but I'm just telling you to just write it down please write it down okay now after thirty days go through this list and ask yourself whether you actually stick to your list or not and. ask yourself the extra things that you bought does that really make any significant difference to your life and most of the cases you will see that they do not add any extra things or you know that does not make you extra cool or something like that 
or any extra utility to your life so every time you go to shopping maybe it's a simple online shopping as well make a list for 30 days right so i'm sure these uh, techniques are very simple so i'm sure you can implement those so let's just uh, summarize all the things uh, so no pull to refresh do not pull to refresh to any social media applications right keep your phone on always dnd write two task every day before you go to sleep or you, or in the morning do not seek for any acknowledgement if there is no loss obviously then the last and the fifth thing is that go to shopping with a list for 30 days so i'm sure you love this podcast and if you did please subscribe and give five stars from wherever you're listening to and if you have any query or messages we are impulse books at facebook twitter and instagram so yeah that's it for today and have a good day